Okay, Pestle and Mortars, it's one of the most important kitchen gadgets that you can get. Why? Because it's going to give you mega, mega flavour. If you haven't got one, then you seriously need to ask why. Now, this is the oldest kitchen gadget in the world. Obviously, it comes from two rocks. Stone on stone. That's where the first early wheat uh, was made from the bread and all that sort of stuff. And, and of course, we can use it for many, many things that will make our life much, much tastier. So from spices to dressings to flavoured oils to pestos to marinades, there's so much you can do. So I'm going to give you a quick lesson on how to use it. I know it sounds a little bit patronising and all that sort of stuff, but everyone just thinks it's about clanking it in, right? You've got two methods, right? You've got bashing and it's as simple as bashing right and then what I would suggest is for you to get in the knack of putting your hand over the pestle and mortar to kind of protect the ricochets and stuff like that that happens so that's a big important thing and also you can put a cloth around it if you want and that'll really stop it so bashing and then you've got muddling and that's another bit. And, and often you see people, they've got them, but they're not using them right. So the muddling bit is good for gently crushing things and taking it finer and finer. But also, if you're making a pesto or a mayonnaise or a sauce or salsa, as you're adding that olive oil, you can just keep an eye on the consistency. There you go, there you go, done. So there you go, bashing and muddling, right? I'm going to show you three quick things to do with it. So, we've got a few spices here. We've got peppercorns, coriander seeds, salt and cumin. You know, that's just a couple of little herbs uh, of which could be any kind of dry rub uh, for a roast or grilled bit of meat uh, or a base for a curry. So you can see, I haven't just gone in there and started smashing it. I've muddled it first, right? And that kind of takes the worst of it out. You can see that's broken it up to a point. Then we go into the bashing. And, you know, the idea of this, I'm just going to pour some of this onto the plate. You know, you can kind of have a coarse grind like that. And then if we go a little bit more. You've got a slightly finer grind there. And then a mixture of muddling and banging will really take this to a sort of almost like a powder consistency. So that's kind of what you can do with spices, whether it's the base of a curry or a rub for a beautiful barbecue. So there we go. Spices. Second one, you could use this for a dressing or a flavoured oil, which is brilliant. This basil goes in. It's not going to go anywhere, so I can just hold it. I kind of want to bash that sort of chlorophyll colour out of it. So it literally, in 10 seconds... And do you know what? A kitchen should be full of those sounds, do you know what I mean? That is normal, that is what it's all about. You know, you might think, God, there's like 10 leaves of basil there. But just by bashing up those 10 leaves of basil, you can smell that 20 foot away. And if you can be bothered, you know, once you turn that into a little paste, olive oil goes in, right? And you'll have the most incredible flavoured oil, right? Almost like chlorophyll, look at that. And if you put a little balsamic in there, fantastic salad dressing. You know, a little squeeze of lemon, put that over any grilled white meats or fish. Absolutely beautiful. Right, so there you go. A basil flavoured oil. That will turn an everyday boring bit of grilled meat or roasted fish into something special. And you can tell by looking at it, you're going to get mega flavour. Now, the last one is a marinade. Acid, oil, herb and garlic. Take the lemon zest from a lemon. Just two or three little slices like that will make dramatic difference. Piece of rosemary, hot tap, five seconds. Off with the rosemary. Like that. Put your hand around it. You're gonna get the oils out of the lemon zest, the oils out of the rosemary. Get some garlic cloves. Don't even bother peeling them. olive oil. That's going to amplify and exaggerate the flavour so you can really get it 
around a leg of lamb, fish, whole fish, fish fillets, you know, chicken breasts, whole chicken, you name it. And there you go, a really good, tasty marinade. And whatever you put that on would be amazing. And if you wanted to add just a little bit of lemon juice, absolutely no problem there as well for the marinade. So there you go, three quick things to do with pestle and mortar. Bashing, muddling, and then, you know, that is really the tip of the iceberg. But remember, the bashing and the muddling. And, you know, there's many, many things you can do with this. But one thing is for sure, if you know how to use a pestle and mortar and you've got one, your flavour goes up dramatically straight away. Good luck.